In the latest update inside Create Studio, we've added some amazing new improvements as well as feature updates. And the first one is our text effects. So you would have seen the first effect inside the intro video with the typewriter. We've also added in a number counter effect as well as a random character effect. And I'll show you how they work in just a sec. And in the coming weeks and months, we're gonna be adding in a whole bunch of extra text effects for you. Now we now also support right to left text. So if you have an Arabic language, you wanna create a video in an Arabic language or a language that works from right to left, you can basically select your text and click on the settings panel and make sure to select right to left at the bottom of the settings to have your text go from right to left. Now I've also made a massive improvement in terms of the speed of our rendering. So now your videos will render four to five times faster. And along the same lines of rendering, we've also enabled the ability to export your videos with alpha transparency. So you can basically select an element or your video, render it with the alpha transparency, and you can also render it in MOV or WebM format so that you can bring those elements into other video editors and basically use them uh, in your videos. And another cool update we're just adding in is we're adding in 100 animated icons into Studio Builder. So in the icons category, you'll see these flat icons that have been custom created in the same style as the Supreme animated characters. So you can use these to give you a lot more variety in terms of creating your explainer videos. So let's go into the software and I'm going to show you how to use some of the features uh, and how they work inside Create Studio. All right, so let me show you inside Create Studio and how to add the text effects as well as the right to left text option and also how to publish your videos with alpha transparency. So if you add a text layer, just by clicking on the text layer over here, you can add your text and I've just added some random text over here. And when you click on the drop down, you'll see another row which says text effects, okay? So you can still add animations to your text and you can also add text effects. If I click on the plus icon, and if I go and select typewriter, you'll be able to see now that the text basically types on like so. And as you can see, that's a little bit fast. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this out and let's say I'll make it about two seconds long. You can see it's a much better pace for that amount of text. You'll also see that it basically animates from the right to the left. So if I go through and click on the rotation point and then select the left point over here, you'll be able to see now that the text animates from the left in just one kind of fluid motion, just like you would type in a, in a form, like a text form. Okay, so this is how to add the typewriter effect. I'm just gonna delete this text and add a new text layer. And what I'm gonna do is click on the text and go to text effects and go to number counter, okay? Now this one works uh, like so. So if you select your text, go to the text settings, you can basically put a starting property, so let's say zero, or if you wanna start maybe at 50, for example, and then you can select the end value. So let's say 24,765, okay? So massive number, I'm gonna go through and just make it a little bit longer, maybe three seconds. And let's just preview this. So you can see it basically counts up to the exact number that you select, okay? So you can go through obviously and change up the text fonts. You can use, you know, really, nice style like BBAS and you can see it animates like so, okay? So you can really use these in a, in a lot of different ways. You could add like an arc animation and then have the percentage like 74 and then add the percentage label like so. Um, and that's how you use the number counter effect. So let me show you also how to use the random character one. So if you add a text layer again, and for this text layer, let's just say um, this is cool like so, okay? And I'll just bring it up and I'll center that, let's go to the start, like so. And what I'm gonna do is just click on the drop down again, go to text effects and select random characters. Okay, so this basically animates in a way that, if I just preview this so you can see it, it has random characters appearing until it comes to your final text that you've set, okay? So what you can do also is basically use different characters. So if you don't want to have alphabets like this, you could have your own characters. So you could use like special characters like this, for example. And basically these are the characters that will appear before your final text appears. So let's just go through like this, like that, okay? Um, you could also just use numbers, for example, if you, you know, want to just play around with numbers or 
your things like that. So let's just play it like this. Okay. And yeah, you can be creative and create cool effects like that. So that's how you use the text effects. Also on the text settings options over here on the text panel, you can see that we've got the option to select right to left. So if I select on for this, you'll be able to see that the text, if I go through and just type something in, let's say for example, hello, you can see that the text goes from right to left. So you've got the H-E-L-L-O from right to left, okay? Now also what you can do is export your videos with alpha transparency. So if you have like a, you know, an animated icon or something you wanted to, or a call to action button or things like that, you could basically go to publish and over here you can select WebM with transparency or MOV with transparency and it'll basically export your video uh, without the background image or the background color, okay? So make sure if you're gonna use that option that you don't have a background image um, or you don't have a background shape that you've selected, you just wanna have, you know, you could have a background color like this and it won't export that background color, it'll just have a transparent background. So those are the main updates inside Create Studio, as well as the faster rendering you're gonna see when you render your videos. We've also added in some extra updates you, which you'll be able to see in the updates panel inside your Create Studio account. Um, and things like, for example, the text to speech, we've also added the options now to add pauses to your uh, text. So you can simply add the pause and equals to the amount of seconds based on the number that you specify. So I hope you enjoyed this update. If you like it, let us know in the comments below and add a like to this video. And yeah, we look forward to making amazing new improvements and new features in the coming weeks and months as we continue building our Create Studio.